Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture series of ICC 9th Maths. The chapter name is Expansions. We were doing the sums from Aris Agarwal. We already completed exercise 3A and 3B in the previous videos. And today we are going to start with the last exercise that is 3C. My name is Arpita Banerjee and you are watching Arpita Classes. Let's get started. So here we have to find out, write down each of the following products. We have to find out the products of the two binomials. So let us first see what is the formula. When we have to find out the products of x plus a into x plus b. The formula for that is x square plus a plus b whole into x plus ab. This is the formula for x plus a into x plus b. Now let us see how this formula is applicable while doing this type of sums. The first question that is question number 1 x plus 6 whole into x plus 2. So when you compare this question with this question you understand your x is x only. Okay. Here your, here your a is 6 and b is 2. So now just put these values in the formula. So it will be x square plus a plus b whole into x plus a into b. Okay. So that will be x square plus 6 plus 2 is 8x plus 12. This is the answer. Okay. Let us see the next question. You can try the next question on your own. Question number 2 that is x plus 8 into x minus 3. Now here you clearly see that your x is x only. a is 8 but b is minus 3. Since in the formula there is no minus sign. So here you have to take either if there is a, here there is a minus sign you will take your a as minus and here there is a minus sign you will take your b as minus. Okay. So now let us put the formula, this is your b. So let us put the formula x square plus a that is a 8 plus b that is minus 3. We will put another bracket over here. I will write it properly. Yeah, a plus b whole into x plus a into b. So this you get x square plus 8 minus 3 whole into x and this is plus minus minus 24. So the answer is x squared plus 5x minus 24. Okay. Let us see the next question. You can pause the video. You can try the sum on your own and then get it checked from here. The third question is x minus 5 and x minus 7. Now very clearly your a is also minus and your b is also minus. Okay. So we will write the formula a square, x square plus a that is minus 5 plus b that is minus 7. And sorry this bracket will be a different bracket. This will be minus 5 plus minus 7 bracket close x plus minus 5 into minus 7. AB. AB is your minus 5 into minus 7. Okay. I hope you understood or should I rub this and write it properly. AB is minus 5 into minus 7. So now here this is x square plus minus 5 and minus 7 will give you minus 12 into x plus your minus into minus is plus. So that is 35. So in the next step, x square plus into minus is minus 12x plus 35. This is the answer. So let us see the next set of sums. The next question is 2 minus x whole into 4 minus x. Now for this fourth question you can see this is 2 minus x whole into 4 minus x. So if you consider the first term as x, then you can see this is not same. So you can either multiply like binomial with binomial, how we multiply that is 
like you take 2 whole into 4 minus x and then minus x whole into 4 minus x. So what did I do? First I took 2 whole into the second whole term and then minus x whole into the second whole term. Okay. So now here multiply 2 into 4 that is 8 minus 2 into x that is minus 2x minus x into 4 that is minus 4x and minus x into minus x is plus x square. So finally you get 8 minus 2x and minus 4x is minus 6x plus x square. So this is one way to do the sum. Alternatively if you want to do it by using the formula then we can write it as minus x plus 2 into minus x plus 4. I just wrote it, I took minus x first. So I get my x same now. Now we can use the formula. Now my x is minus x whole square plus a plus b whole into x which is your minus x plus a into b. Okay, I put the formula now. So minus x whole square will be x square only. Minus into minus will become plus. This is plus 6 into minus x and plus 8. So finally the answer will be x square minus 6x plus 8. So you do it this way or you do it this way. Either of the ways you can get the answer. But here the x has to be same. So I wrote it in a different manner and then I use the formula. Or else you can directly multiply. Okay. Let us see the next question. Question number 5 y minus 7 into y plus 4. So in this case, this is your x, this is your a, this is x again and this is your b. x I am saying according to the formula I told you. Okay. So here we will write x square which is your y square plus a that is minus 7 plus 4 into x plus ab that is minus 7 into 4. So this is y square plus this will be minus 3y and minus 28. So finally the answer will be y square minus 3y minus 28. So now please pause the videos and uh, we, uh, after that you can do the sum on your own. Okay? Question number 6 that is AB plus 3 into AB minus 2. So in this sum, this is your X, this is your A and this is your B. So I will write X square that is AB the whole square plus A plus B. So A plus minus 2 whole into AB plus 3 into minus 2 that is your AB. I will just put another bracket over here. Yeah. So this is a square b square plus 3 minus 2 into ab minus 6. So finally the answer is a square b square plus 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 ab is only ab minus 6. This is the answer. Okay. So question number 7 now. 5 minus xy and 2 plus xy. Now this sum you have to do the multiplication normally because if you, this is your xy is also, this x is not same. If you even reverse it, then also this is minus xy that is plus xy. So just do the multiplication normally. 5 whole into 2 plus xy minus xy whole into 2 plus xy. Okay. So I splitted this term and then multiply the other term with each of them. 5 into 2, 10 plus 5 into xy, 5xy, minus 2 into xy, 2xy, minus into plus minus xy into xy is x square, y square. Now here 5xy and 2xy is like term. So 10 plus this will be 3xy minus x square, y square. This is the answer for the seventh one. Okay. Let us try the eighth question now. The eighth question is x square plus 1 into x square plus 2. Here very clearly your x is x square, a is 1 and b is 2. So I am writing the formula x square plus a plus b 
into x plus a into b. So this will be, oh, oh sorry, my x is x square, so it will be a x square the whole square, okay? So this will be x4 plus 3 into x square plus 2. This is answer for the 8th question, okay? You have to multiply usually. Question number 9, 3 minus x square, 3 minus x square and 5 plus x square. So here we can't use the formula because again, if you reverse it also, the x term is not same. One is minus x square, one is plus x square. So multiply usually 3 whole into 5 plus x square minus x square whole into 5 plus x square. So this will become 3 into 5, 15 plus 3x square minus 5x square minus x to the power 4. Now these two are like terms. Okay, so 15 minus 2x square minus x to the power 4. This is the ninth answer. Doing the last question, that is 10th. 6 minus x whole into x plus 5. Here also we can't use the formula, so we'll multiply usually 6 whole into x plus 5 minus x whole into x plus 5. So 6 into x is 6x plus 6 into 5, 30 minus x into s x square minus x into 5, 5x. 6x and 5x are like terms, so I'll write minus x square first. 6x and minus 5x will be plus x plus 30. This is the answer for the 10th question. Okay. So we have another 4 questions in this exercise which I will be posting in the video so that you can try them on your own. The sums are not very difficult. You just have to be careful while multiplying. Careful about the signs while multiplying them. Where you can use the formula, you can use the formula. Where you cannot use the formula, you can just multiply them normally. So thank you so much. Here we completed with the entire chapter expansion from Aris Agarwal. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.